Welcome to SharePoint Journey. This is Devendra Veligandla. In this lesson, you will learn how to create web application in SharePoint 2013 using host header concept. So, we will create a DNS record for that particular web application and we will use the DNS A record and while creating the web application. So, to create a DNS A record, let's go ahead and open the AD. This is my AD and search for the DNS manager. This is the DNS manager. Once we have DNS manager, look for the domain name. This is our domain name, sharepointjourney.com right click to create new a record and here I'll say speed 2013 and I need to find the IP address of my SharePoint server so let's go ahead to SharePoint server and find out what is the IP here The IP address is 10.0.0.5. So let's go ahead and enter that IP address. 10.0.0.5. Click Add Host. Now the host record has been created successfully. You can see here SP2013. Now let's go ahead and open the SharePoint server. and fire central admin click on manage web applications and this is where the existing web applications which we have so click on new to create a new web application working on it it open the new pop-up window so here enter the host header our host header is sp2013 dot sharepoint journey dot com keep port as 80 and change the IS site to sp2013 sharepoint journey change the virtual directory path as well remove the port ok let's come down keep the security configuration like an allow anonymous is no then keep the client client authentication so you have only one option while creating a web application in SharePoint 2013 that is clients by default if you want to go back to have a classic mode authentication you have to do it using powershell and once you come back to the public URL, change and remove the IP. Okay, now it will be sp2013.sharepointjourney.com and use the default zone and create a new application pool for this web application. Name it as similar to hoster and while creating web application if you want to run that app, app pool with a different account you can use it right now I am using the form account itself next thing is the database server it will come by default now change the database name like sp2013 If you have any failover database server you can specify that here and if you have any service application connections you can choose right now I don't have anything click OK to create a web application okay 
your web application got created successfully so let's go ahead and create site collection as well so that we can open that web application say sp2013 SP this will be a root site collection and click ok this shouldn't take long time so it should come up in few minutes okay our top level site collection created successfully so let's go ahead and open that and while opening your web application from the server itself okay it might ask sometimes the password repeated times so let's go ahead and add this site to the trusted zones trusted sites security trusted sites if you want to check just check now see so cancel that add that site to trusted sites add it close ok now enter the password it's loading now it's showing working on it it should come up soon you can see here the site collection opened successfully and go back to the web application management and see whether the new web application got created yes it is there this is the new web application which is running under port 80 and let's go back to IAS and see what is there what are the changes happened at IAS level expand sites this is the new site which we have created and you can see the bindings as well which is having host name of sp2013 sharepointjourney.com okay so in this lesson you have seen how to create web application using host data in SharePoint 2013. Thank you for your time. We will see you in next lesson.